After over a month, 1000 hours of non-stop digging, the Plus X Nether World border has finally been reached legitimately by a group I am a part of, the Republic of Structural Engineers, Rose. The entire journey was fascinating. And at the end, we had a very unexpected meeting with someone who showed completely unannounced and made a big surprise for us. Watch to the end of the video to find out. The entire project has been started by two people, me and Solo, two members of the Rose group. After making a good game plan, assigning roles and securing resources, we started moving accounts to the Plus X Overworld World Border on the 3rd of January 2022. And shortly after, with help from another Rose member, Dendro Abscess, we got all the supplies we needed. On the 5th, we started the dig. For digging, I have programmed a special version of my client, Harakiri, for automated highway digging. In the beginning, it was pretty buggy, but as time went on, I would patch more and more issues and it would be more and more stable. The bot would automatically dig, scaffold, patch lava pockets, etc. When the server was on 20 TPS, meaning no lag, our top speed was over 60 km per hour. The digging was not the main issue though. If you look at the project spreadsheet, you can see that we would need over 300 shulkers full of pickaxes. If you're asking why we used pickaxe shulkers instead of carrying XP bottles, it's because to repair one pickaxe you need over two stacks of XP bottles. This obviously makes the pickaxes a better choice due to the better efficiency per slot. However, since one Minecraft account can carry only 50 or so shulkers, 27 in the e-chest, 37 in the inventory, we needed a way to manage the supply chain. In the beginning, we just let bots run and just communicated between us the progress and positions of all bots. This, however, proved very inefficient, and thus, using the Rose website, we put up a live updated map. Every bot running the same custom build of Harakiri allowed us to implement a tracking system that would update the website with the current coordinates of every bot online. After some improvements, this map proved to be very useful when it came to managing the accounts. Digging for days turned into weeks, turned into a month. Our PCs would be running 24 out of 7 and our electricity bills would be high. But this has not stopped us. Along the way, people started discovering our tunnel. Since we did not hide it, a person named Dr. Krabby has stumped upon it and decided to travel down it. He recognized me on the signs and decided to contact me. He proved to be a very chill person and helped us here and there with digging and milestones. Unfortunately, this attention also reached Mark 1 and his Plus Plus Coalition. Unbeknownst to us, they were also digging a Nether World Border Highway, the Negative Z1. They started way back in September 2021 and so had around a 10% lead. We were going significantly faster, but they started earlier. Hearing the news, however, they decided to ramp up their progress and got close to our speeds. On the way, we would make milestones every now and then, and so we made the 1%, 4 million, 7 million, 8 million, 9 million, and 10 million milestones. After that, we got bored of making milestones, so we stopped, but Dr. Krabby built the 13 million one too. Still not knowing Mark 1 was digging a highway, we were going pretty calmly. Around a week later, we had one week of a hiccup due to various issues. And so Mark 1's coalition got to the Negative Z world border a week before us. This however motivated us to ramp our progress too, and in just a week we made huge progress eventually reaching 29.999 million on the 16th of February 2022. What we planned was to wait a thousand blocks away from the world border and dig the last 1000 by hand with every Rose member who contributed. We put an announcement on the NHS Discord that at precisely 8pm the event will take place. Unfortunately, Solo being busy with personal stuff couldn't make it in time. So me, Treewalker and Dendroapsis started a dig at 8.10pm GMT and livestream it on the NHS Discord server. 
Solo would eventually join us half an hour later. As we were starting, a banner picked our attention, as it was not placed by any one of us, as we did not have it. It was a banner of Zenith. A bit suspicious, but we proceeded. If you're wondering why there already is a 2x1 tunnel, it started at 29.9985 million and was originally dug by Inzoid, way back when he teleported to the world border with an exploit, but was just 2000 blocks off and needed to dig himself a short tunnel to get to the border. After around 300 blocks, we stumped upon a few random items dropped on the ground. We were very surprised and we suspected someone might be preparing an ambush at the end. Raising our awareness, we proceeded. When we got to 100 blocks away from the world border, we saw this. What the, what the fuck? Guys, 100 that's out. Not, yeah, that, that's what? someone else. That, that's someone who placed that there. What? Already. That's not that. No. What? Look, look above. Wait, what? What? what the heck? What? Whoa. What? This is a base. What the fuck? Oh shit. This is a wall. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Look at the sign. Look at the sign. Look what it says. What? What? Which sign? Dendro, the, the one at the world border. Look at the world border, uh, above the bedrock. What? How do you even build that without that? Oh, oh yeah, 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 it but says... I can't see what the sign says because it's cut off. But... It, it says Vax. <laughs> well, we've got to keep going either way. <laughs> guys, guys, let's just dig. Someone's here. There's going to be someone waiting. Like, yeah, there's going to be someone like fucking waiting here. I swear to you, motherfucking God. And a tracer pops up at the world. I don't have tracers yeah, I would on, not. So. I would entirely Wait, not look, it's right. something is built. And there is the, the, the banners, the Zenith banners. Zenith banners, yeah. There's the so Zenith banner. <laughs> Wait, let me guess. Someone from what, Zenith. From on some. Yeah, we have an HS banners. Someone from Zenith has had an account here. Let me guess. From the TP exploit. On top of the bedrock, a huge replica of Treewalker's famous Walmart from Sunnyvale, named Wartmart, with our huge names in the middle Vaxry, Dendro, Seven Solomon, Treewalker, and an unfinished Rubik X Rose sign. We were stumped. Shortly after we made it to the world border, we were met by a mysterious person. Wait, what does it say? Check what does it say in the board in the wall? I can't read this. It says tree wall three cam on the other side. Seven Solomon. Oh my days are here. <laughs> oh. Oh no, who is it? Who's oh. this? <laughs> oh. Oh. Who proved to be Emil. Emil is the founder of a popular group called Rubik and he has welcomed us at the world border by building a huge hub just hours before we started the event. How he got there is pretty simple. He used a teleportation exploit to get to the world border ages ago, and then used another exploit to build on the nether roof right before we arrived. Very cool stuff indeed, and an amazing surprise and overall a very lovely thing to do. In the end, we left our signs, took some screenshots, and started making the hub even cooler. Was it worth it? I would say yes. It's a great deal of community service, digging a road for everyone to use. It was also a lot of work, but we learned a ton and made tons of great memories. Maybe it's no time for you to travel down the highway. If you decide to, good luck, and you better grab a big bag of popcorn.